Today we are going to study the anatomical structure of human heart. Human heart is a muscular organ lying in thoracic cavity below your left lung. It is a conical organ and size as much as your feast. It weighs 300 gram in male and 250 gram in female. Now we are going to study its structure. Human heart is completely four chambered consisting of these two upper chamber auricles and this is your ventricle. It is slightly tilted organ as you can see it very well. These are your two auricles. Auricles are the collecting chambers as they collect the blood and pass them to these ventricles which are your distributing chambers as they distribute the blood to the whole body. This is your pulmonary artery originating from right ventricle. It moves to lung and this is your iota originating from left ventricle it contain oxy blood and passes it to the whole body tissues for their requirement and here is your completely four chambered heart you can see it very well these are your two tiny tubes which are your pulmonary veins which are opening into left auricle this is your big vein superior vena cava and this is your big vein inferior vena cava both coming into right auricle so this is your wall between auricle and ventricle which is uh, which is controlled by the cords likewise here also between the right auricle and right ventricle we have the wall which is controlled by the cords this is also the wall which maintain the flow of blood from ventricle into these great arteries now we will show you the flow of blood in these blood is coming by this way this is your deoxy blood pouring into my right auricle and then from the right ventricle it is moving to pulmonary artery like this. This is your deoxygenated blood. So it is coming from superior inferior vena cava into right auricle and then from right ventricle it is moving to the lungs by the pulmonary artery for oxygenation. This is your oxygenated blood coming from pulmonary vein into left auricle and then via left ventricle it is moving to systemic iota and from the iota it is moving to the whole body cells. Likewise, this is your oxy blood showing the flow of oxygenated blood in our body cells. So, this is your human heart. Now start the labeling part. This is your left auricle, upper chamber. On the left side is your left auricle. This is your lower chamber on the left side. Yes, this is left ventricle, the bigger chamber. Yes, here we have right auricle on the right side, the upper chamber is your right auricle and below the right auricle we have right ventricle. Everybody knows that in the biology we consider right as left and left as right. So likewise these are reversed. So these are the two tiny tubes, pulmonary vein coming from the lungs to left auricle. This is a pulmonary artery going from the heart to the lung containing the oxy blood in it. This is your iota containing oxy blood and moving to the whole body tissues and this is your interventricular septum which separate your two ventricles. Likewise, we have completely divided four chambered heart. This is your interventricular septum. This is superior vena cava which is which uh, in which we have deoxy blood from the tissues lying above the heart. And below the superior vena cava, we have inferior vena cava in which we have deoxy blood from the tissues lying below the heart like thighs and legs and so and so. So blood is coming by this way and then it is moving to art, uh, pulmonary artery for oxygenation. Oxy blood is coming via this route. So this is your pumping organ beating 72 times per minute and pumping two types of blood at one time. For your queries and valuable suggestions, please leave your comment. This is Nupur Gupta Classes and we will see you soon in the future. All the best students.